Here we go. Upla versus Insert Logic. Second match. Second match of the quarterfinals here. Whoever wins this is going to be facing off Grandius later on on the semifinals. Both of these runners already guaranteed $100, but they are going to be wanting to do their way for a bigger prize pot for sure. All right. They both doing their way here on the tutorial. This little level is kind of like a tutorial. It tells you like kind of like the directions that you can throw Kusako at, that you can use mana rocks for special attacks. It's pretty much a tutorial level here. But still, minor optimizations when you're actually speedrunning this. We can see a 34 second on Upla's side on the left, while we get a 35 second on Insert Logic. So we have seen both so far Upla and Grand is being able to land the 34 second tutorials here. Oh, that was some interesting strats right there. What? What is these shots that Upla is doing right now? Upla with the... Uh, I don't know, like, the strats that I've never seen before. That's very interesting. I don't know if they're faster or not, but they were definitely pretty interesting shots right there. And nicely done. Look at these shots by Upla right now. Upla just flying through the yellow feather level. But you know what? Insert Logic is not far at all. Insert Logic is just right next, right there on the ankles. Still gonna be a 45 second finish here by. 45 second finish by both of these runners. Oh man. This is just the beginning of this race. This is just the beginning of this race. And by the way, they both defeated the yellow feather level. I don't even know what to expect. I really don't even know what to expect. Oh, a little bit of an issue right there for Upla. He's not going to be happy to see that freeze for sure. Oh, and a second freeze right now. And we can definitely see it on his face. Now he's got to take a little bit of time right there to go back. Grab that heart. And then, okay, regroup and now move forward. And that's going to be a little bit of an error that Insert Logic is going to not take time to like take advantage of. And be able to claim the lead right now. Insert Logic trying to squeeze into that fish. It doesn't pay off. They both taking that damage boost right there. Trying to go uh, in the middle of the fish. Now Insert Logic having an issue with the last jump. Upla actually lands it. 45 seconds by Insert Logic. Upla with a 50 seconds. Both of them a little bit of a not so clean playthrough at the end of that level. But still a pretty close race. Alright, they're going to be going for the one mana strat. One mana strat and two mana strat. Alright, a little bit of a different uh, selection of techniques right now for both of these runners. The difference between the one mana strat and the two mana strat is that you can do these three birds that they are on the insert logic side with just one shot. However, you lose that time by getting that second mana rock, so they pretty much even out. It's one of those strats that it can come down to preferences. Oh, insert logic's gotta be careful. Insert logic's gotta be careful. Oh, that's that's a little bit of a disaster right there for Insert Logic. Okay, he cleans up that bird, but he doesn't have any mana rocks to be able to finish this stage. He's not gonna be too happy for seeing that right now. Alright, manages to close up that level, but he's gonna be losing a little bit of time over Upla. And again, any tiny mistake, any tiny tiny mistakes between these two. Oh man, it's just costing a lot. We, we saw the mistake on Colossal Creatures by Upla, it cost 5 seconds. We saw now the mistake on Insert Logic on the X Shot uh, level, and it also cost him like 6 seconds right there. Like these runners. Any tiny mistake, the other one is gonna be able to capitalize on that. Oh, nice strat right there by Upla. I like that strat actually. Clean that spike and make it easier to be able to go through the spikes. Oh, and he manages to make it through that spike as well. Nice movement by Upla here. Really, really nice movement by Upla. He, oh, he doesn't get the damage. I mean, the damage less jump. So he decides to kill the spike, the Orkin right there at the end. Let's see. Oh, Easter Logic's not gonna get it. He decides to go for the damage boost strat. Nicely done by both of these runners. Now the Aver Sam fight. We can see a lot of different things here on the Aber Bassam fight. Nice open by Upla. Oh, he decides to jump. He was not 
he was not trusting his shots right there. He thought, you know what? If I stay here on the face of Abraham, I'm just gonna die. And Insert Logic does the same thing. Insert Logic had a little bit of a chance right there to make up a couple of seconds over Upla, but he also decides to back up. And you know what? I don't blame any of these runners. It's better to back up, lose a couple seconds, rather than die for being too reckless and lose like 20 seconds on that fight. All right, they're both on the trap level right now. Uh, Upla going for the two mana strats. And Interlogic also going for the two mana strats. We saw a lot of people going for the four mana strats yesterday. I don't think any of these runners want to go for the four mana strats. I think they are going to be going for the two manas. A little bit of... Oh! Okay, okay. They're both good. They're both good. Upla taking those backup hearts. He doesn't want to see any weird stuff happening. No more mana here for Upla, so losing a little bit of time to making its way through that switch right there. And Interlogic almost catching up because of that. It's gonna be a 1 minute and 2 seconds for Upla and 56 seconds for Interlogic, so making up 6 seconds to just be back on track. Superhero landing 612 and 613 is just a one second difference right now between these two runners. Just a one second difference right now. However, Upla's got keyboard and mouse, and he's gonna be definitely using keyboard and mouse strats on this level. A little bit of cleaner movement on Interlogic side though. So that's what keyboard and mouse like, even though you get like higher jumps, you can lose time for like just having actually those higher jumps sometimes. Oh, Interlogic not going for any of the Lightning Feathered strats. I think Upla is going to be coming up with a better time here for sure. Yeah, we can see a 38 second finish right there. And it's going to be like a 42 for Interlogic. So, 4 second difference. It's going to be, I guess, a 5 second race now going into Frozen Fisher. Not taking the safety mana rock. Let's see if he goes on the upper route here, or if he decides to shoot all the flowers from the bottom. All right, he goes for the upper route for safety. Almost missed the safety strat. Nice adjustment right there to not miss that shot. And Interlogic also decides to go for the upper strats. All right, so both of these runners going for the safety upper strats. And now it seems that they're both going to be landing the... Okay, yeah. Lightning shot good for Upla. Let's see how's the lightning shot for... Oh, wow. What? He got a... I, I'm not sure what happened there, but I think he got two damage. I don't know. It was weird. Oh, Interlogic has got to be careful. Okay, he's, he's, he's past that section. He's past that section. And he decides to don't take the jump boost right there to be able to take the checkpoint. I don't blame him. This section with just one HP. This section is not super dangerous, but you can definitely get hit once. Like, it, it can be easy to get hit once. He's going to probably take the... Yeah, he's going to be taking that safety hard. Nicely done right there by Insert Logic. So Upla is gonna be making up. Is he gonna be making up time? I don't think so. Insert Logic can still finish that one faster somehow. That's interesting. That's very interesting. A and I think we're back to like a couple second race right now. I think Upla is just okay. It's just ahead for like a couple seconds over Insert Logic. However, Insert Logic having a little bit of trouble right there to be able to land on that Urkin. All right, Upla going for the damage boost. Let's see if Interlogic goes for the damage boost or decides to use Kusaku as a shield. Decides to use Kusaku as a shield, but still got that damage boost. And he doesn't get the safety heart. He wants to go just with a couple HP into the water section. This water section can be pretty dangerous. Goes for the mana. Okay. And for the heart. Interlogic also goes for the mana and the heart. Misses that shot. Nice recovery from the shot on the distance right there. Oh, doesn't make it through that cycle. Gets a hit. Involuntary hit, most likely. Takes another damage boost. He's gonna go for the safety heart. And, okay. Oh! Oh! Alright, here we go. Having a little bit of trouble with the lockdown at the start. Insert logic using fire. Is Interlogic using one for ice and the second one for fire? And I think he's gonna be making up time again over Upla. Let's have a look here. So we're gonna be having superhero landing at 937 on Upla's side. 
And superhero landing at 942 on insert logic side. So Upla is about five seconds ahead right now, and he gets a couple hits. Oh, he's gonna be careful. Oh, he realized way too late that, oh, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna be making this cycle. And he takes a very unfortunate death here, Lingwana. And we have talked about this over and over. Lingwana is definitely a very tricky stage. You can save time, but you can also lose a lot of time here depending on what you do. And it's not only on the actual level section, but also in the actual fight. Insert Logic landing four out of five hits. It's gonna be fine. He's gonna just wait for a couple bombs to spawn. All right, and he's gonna get the last couple hits here. All right, so Upla taking the five hits, but he's only one HP left. He's gotta be very careful right now. He's gotta be like super careful. Oh, the buoyancy on the water. Oh, that was a little bit scary. But Upla knowing exactly what was gonna happen right there and making its way through perfectly the second time around only one of them. Or Twisted Linguana for that matter. Just a fun fact for everybody here. All the reason why these bosses are called Twisted something is because they're like uh, alterations of their of the same bosses on the base game. All of these bosses exist on the main game, but they work very, very, very differently to how they work in here. Like the fights are very, very different. So it's a very, very interesting take to see all of those Twisted versions of these bosses. Alright, so the flying section here. Insert Logic doing a pretty nice job. Uh, oh, he's gotta be careful. Okay, nicely noticed that he didn't hit that switch. Nicely noticed that he didn't hit one of those switches. Okay. Insert Logic clearing flying solo. Uh, Upla at the end of flying solo right now. Oh, he tries to go for those triple hit strats again. He didn't get it. I want to see that strat landing. That strat looks so cool right there for Upla. Ikeru with the rate of 7. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias, Ikeru. Felicidades, man. Llegaste a top 8. Desafortunadamente, solamente puede haber un ganador, pero lo hiciste muy bien. All right, so let's have a look here. He's gonna be finishing the level at 12, 13 seconds. Let's see what's the difference right now because Insert Logic managed to give the comeback so far right now. He was losing at the start of the race, but he now did a comeback. And it's at uh, 20, uh, 30, 31. That's like an 18 second difference right now that Insert Logic is ahead. So if he keeps it clean, he's gonna be able to keep that lead uh, a lot of the rest of the race for sure nice nice eyes right there by insert logic all right one two three four there you go two motor crane yeah motor crane definitely definitely being a really dangerous situation in the run All right, and now Interlogic at the very end of Super Hot Scuffle. All right, taking those mana. It's gonna be lining them up here. Oh, he doesn't use any fire on that section. That's interesting. Fire and fire. Nicely done right there by Interlogic. One minute and 15 second finish here. I think maybe Upla is gonna be making up a little bit of time. I'm not sure though. Oh, probably not. Remember, this level, the more static that you stay, the more time that you're going to be losing. He's not so happy with what happened right there. And he's going to be losing another 5 seconds to Insert Logic right there. So Insert Logic currently increasing the lead. Increasing the lead. Right there was not due to major mistakes. It was mostly due to better movement. But still, like, the biggest lead came because of that Linguana dead. That very unfortunate Linguana dead on Upla, but now... Interlogic having trouble here with the lava. And oh man, oh man, oh, he barely makes it out of the lava. He barely makes it out of the lava. He's gotta be super careful. Oh, that shot right in front of the beetle. Oh, that could have been disastrous right now. He's gotta be very careful. Yeah, he knows that there's enemies. Oh, okay, okay. He's good, he's good. 
he made it out of that part okay oh he's not landing these jumps properly he's making a lot of leeway right now for upla okay he's gonna be happy that he finished the lava stage yeah he's like oh man i finished oh let's shake that off let's continue because now we're moving forward to the metroid stage and superhero landing at 1456 by insured logic Let's have a look at the superhero landing. It was about a 20 second race and now it's about like 11 seconds. It's now like 11 seconds. So Upla being able to cut about 9 seconds due to those mistakes that Insert Logic does have. And they're both right now in the Metroid level and they're not so far behind from each other. So I don't know. The motor crane fight or the escape in this level we know those two can be pretty 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 tricky situations even if you make it out alive yeah you can lose time you can definitely lose time and sir logic's not gonna be happy for taking that damage before the motor crane fight you really really oh oh he doesn't get hit by that shot nice and actually insert logic going for the six mana strats here which are a tiny little bit slower but also more consistent. So matter of preferences. Oh, Upla getting the two hits. He's gonna have to be like very, very, very careful. But we have seen this spot right here for Upla before. Okay, okay. He's like, you know what? I like my spot, but I'm gonna be moving. If you're gonna be throwing, throwing ice bread at myself, I'm gonna be moving a little bit right there. All right. They both made it out alive from Motor Crane fight. It was very tricky and sketchy situations for both of them. But... At the end of the day, they both resolve it pretty good. So now it's time for the escape. Who's going to be doing a cleaner escape right here? Okay, having to use a little bit of a shot right there on Interlogic side. Takes a damage foot here for the uh, Cadavras. Okay, now a little bit more shots again. A little bit more shots making its way out of the Beetle section. Okay, nicely done right there by Interlogic. Taking that extra hard right there for Upla. It's, it's hard to tell who makes it cleaner. I think Upla is definitely making it cleaner. At least the build section. Let's have a look. A 1 minute and 59 seconds right there for Insert Logic. And uh, I don't know. I think actually Insert Logic made it cleaner. Because it's going to be a 2 minute and 2, 3 seconds. 4 seconds. 2 minute and 4 seconds. So another 5 seconds go for Insert Logic at the end of the Metroid level. The Egg Tunnel Scape. Oh, Insert Logic not avoiding that electricity. There is a way that you can avoid that electricity with more better movement. Just taking a little bit of bump of your head is going to give you enough speed to be able to make it past the electricity. And it seems that Upla knows what to do right there and he properly avoids the electricity shot right there. Okay, Upla, I think he's going to go for just one kill. Or two? Yeah, two kills. Okay. Three kills, four kills. Okay, I thought he was going for zero kills and he decides to just make it a little bit safer right there at the end. Also, he's going to be getting the mana rocks because of that. And the mana rocks are going to be working for using the fire and... What? That was a very interesting strat. I've never seen that one. I'm not sure if it's... I, I don't think it's faster. You can do that room with pretty much like one, two, three, four shots. And if you have mana, you can do that room with like four shots. Still very interesting shoots right there by Upla. Insert Logic already in the flying solo level. Uh, using the 360 stick strats. And doing perfectly fine with 360. Insert Logic being like, I don't need to use a mouse and keyboard to be able to use all of this boost right here. Oh, nicely done by Insert Logic. Who's going to be into the lead, into Gemini's. And right now, he's going to have to fail Gemini's like maybe like three times. For Upla to have a chance to come back at this. And looking at the skill level right now for Insert Logic, I don't think he's gonna have those three little mishaps on on Gemini's. Nope, he goes for a very safe approach into the Gemini's fight. He's gonna be closing this into 1857. Sub 19 victory right here for Insert Logic. Pretty nicely played. Upla is not gonna be far behind, but it's not gonna be enough to take the first point into this race. Missing that one last shot. And Upla is going to be finishing in a time of 19-18. Well played by both of these runners. We're going to be asking if they're going to want to take like a couple seconds here for a breather. 
and we're gonna be back here for the second race of the night between these two All right, both of these runners are ready. We have made the countdown, so we're gonna get our way here really, really soon. 1 0 for Insert Logic. Is Upla gonna be able to tie this series and go for a third race, or is Insert Logic gonna be closing this and moving to semifinals by winning a 2 0 victory over Upla? We are gonna find out here pretty soon while the two competitors are making its way through the tutorial level. It was very interesting to see all of the strats that uh, Interlogic was able to pull off with the 360 stick. He, he managed his way pretty properly on the flying levels, which is pretty hard because you have to just aim like on the fly if you're going to be using 360 for those levels. Alright, and I think Upla is going to be trying to get a 34 again here. And it seems he's got another 34 and Interlogic gets another 35. So this is pretty much the same start as we saw in the last race. And actually, actually, I just noticed the subtle things that they do to get the 34. So I'm going to be practicing that. Oh, plan not able to get that same strat that he got last time. However, he gets that shot. That is a very interesting shot that Upla gets right there. Oh, he misses the double kill. Nice recovery, though. And now Insert Logic is going to be moving forward. And I think this is also what we saw last race. Nicely done. Nicely done by these two runners. Oh, good jump by Upla. He gets hit by the fire, however, at the end. And it's going to be a 44 second finish versus a 47 second finish by Upla. And now I think Insert Logic also got the lead again. And these two runners just go crazy. Like, they just keep switching leads. Every level, every single level, they keep switching the leads. Let's have a look at the Colossal Creature Coast here. Upla just going for one kill, which is very interesting to me. And then also kills that motion from the bottom. And he doesn't take, like, also the air momentum to avoid that ice. Very interesting uh, different strats here by Upla. Again, I'm not sure if he practiced something that he feels more comfortable with, if he practiced something that he thinks is faster. But at this time around, it seems that Insert Logic is going to be making more seconds again into the Colossal Creature Coast. And except that he fails that jump at the end, and uh, now it's going to be pretty much tied up with a 44 second and a 5 second. 
I think had Interlogic not failed that jump at the end, he would have probably saved another second over Upla. However, that little mishap at the end, yeah, it cost a little bit right there. Now we saw this. One mana versus two mana. Advantage on the two mana is you have two opportunities in case you fail that shot. But those two runners just land that beautifully. Alright, now taking the two mana, both of them for the next section. You're gonna be using fire. And I think nobody uses... Oh, never mind. Oh, he was trying to go for a single shot kill right there. He didn't get it, but that was pretty nice attempt by Upla. Alright. Oh, one tile gap. Nice. Both of them getting the one tile gap. 47 versus a 49. Upla making another couple seconds right there over Insert Logic. And now he's starting to just increase that little, like that lead little by little. Little by little, Upla is increasing that lead right now. The sunset level, not a lot going on here. It's just a matter of like really tight movement and platforming. You don't really need to kill enemies on this level. However, we might see both of them killing at least one little lizard. And I don't blame them. You can you can dodge that lizard with incredibly tight movement. But it, it's just easier to, to kill it. Oh, plus taking a little bit of time right there. He's probably going to get the heart. Yeah, he gets the heart. Yeah, nicely done. Recognizing that that was a very sticky situation right there. So he just goes for that extra heart. He takes a little bit of extra time to just make sure that he's avoiding that... Uh, spike right there, and he makes the jump properly. Nicely done by Upla at the end. Interlogic also finishing the level strong, and it's gonna be making a second over Upla just with better movement on that level in the Sunrise Shores. Oh, having a little bit of trouble, Interlogic. You gotta be careful. Whoa, that almost goes down south pretty quickly for Insert Logic, and he laughs it off. He knows what happened. He knows what just happened. He's like, oh man, I don't want to die to Abravasam. I'm happy that I'm alive. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're past that section now. You know what? I find it very interesting having cameras for like this type of runs. Because you can see the player's reaction. You can be when they're happy for what they achieve. You can be when they're happy for just being lucky and not dying. And you can also see when they fail some of their strats. Being like, oh man, how did I fail that? It's a very interesting to be able to see the cameras of the runners. Oh, not getting that jump. And just what I was talking about. Oop, that was not so happy of not getting that jump. And Interlogic got a little bit of extra damage there. And he decides to take the safety hard. Which is pretty good. It's pretty good for him. Alright, they both making its way down to the path of the Thunders. And it's gonna be a 58 second finish for Upla and pretty much a 50 a 59 second finish for Insert Logic. So about a second made right there for Upla. And after Abrabasam and now after the tricky tempo. Yeah, Upla is making a little bit more seconds again. But again, we saw this already last race. And Upla had a very unfortunate situation on Lingwana. He was able to clean it up the second time around, though. Let's see what happens here. Nice Ikora's Feather right there. Uh, and Interlogic decides not to go for the Ikora Feather strats, not even the actual gamepad ones. Which is pretty interesting to me. All right, he makes it out alive. It's better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry for sure. Okay, he decides to go on the top route again. Oh, a little bit of an error. He's gonna clean that up. There you go. And he doesn't take the mana. I don't think he noticed he didn't take the mana. He even, he even tried to switch the... Oh, man. Let's see if Hoopla is aware that he didn't took the mana. Okay, he's aware, he's aware. Okay, okay. Because he even tried switching the feather after not getting the mana. So I was not sure if he was aware of that. 
he's fully aware so he changed the strats a little bit and gets its way through with just an ultra feather nicely done by upla great great awareness great awareness for sure uh, Inter Logic getting hit right there on the bullet hell section not a big deal both of these runners just with a couple of hearts going into the second half of this level but they should be fine they should be fine with a couple hearts oh oh you gotta land let's go okay upla is done with the level one minute and nine seconds i think interlogic is gonna be making up some timing here yeah one minute and five seconds four second four second make up for interlogic now upla got the superhero landing i think at eight minutes and three seconds interlogic got it at eight minutes and 11 seconds so that's about an eight second lead right now for upla but we also saw a cleaner uh water level by interlogic earlier today so let's see what happens here on both sides. Let's see if Interlogic can still cut off some time here from Upla on the water level and nicely done avoiding that damage right there for Interlogic. All right, good kill on the Urkin right there. Oh, that mana lands right on your way when you kill the bottom one first. Nice little strat right there by Interlogic. I was like, where is that mana coming from? Now I see where it is coming from. So Upla just gonna go there with just one single ice shot. Trying to lock the Urkin in position with just an ice shot. And it doesn't manage to do it. And Interlogic just taking its time to get like a million mana rocks right there. Lands all the four of the mana rocks right there on the Earth King. Doesn't manage to keep him locked into position either. But it was a nice kill right there. So superhero landing, Twistling 1 is gonna be 926, 927 for Upla. Let's have a look at insert logic side. 932, 933, so about a six to seven second. I think insert logic was able to cut up a longer second right there. And uh, Upla having trouble getting the good cycle. What Insert Logic actually does get it. It's gonna be making a little bit more time over Upla again. He's gonna be taking that damage boost and decides. Oh, I was. I thought he was gonna not go for the heart. Can't blame him to go for it though. Can't blame him to go for it. Nice five shot landing right there for Upla. Insert Logic decides to only go for four. We saw this on last race. Now he's gonna go for the next two. And nicely done by Insert Logic. Pretty well played by the two of them. 45 seconds for Upla, and it's gonna be a 43 second for Insert Logic. So another two seconds. Let's look at the okay. 10, 18 landing into the flying solo versus 8, 10, 22, 10, 23. I think it's just like a four or five second lead for Upla right now. However, again, this is one of those levels where the mouse strats can really shine just because of that like a freedom on mobility on where you're actually aiming. But we saw Interlogic doing it pretty good last time around. Look, look at that! Look at those reactions! He just positioned himself perfectly fine for hooking the wall in like a matter of a second. He goes for the mana rock strats for this part of the level. Nicely done by Interlogic. And I think he's gonna be taking the lead here. Upla having a little bit of a trouble cleaning that bird section. And Interlogic is definitely taking the lead right there over Upla. Wow, what a nice play on the flying levels by Insert Logic using the D pad and the eight. I mean the 360 stick. Now, what are gonna be the strats here? Insert Logic failing one. Oh, he's got the triple shot now. Upla finally got that triple shot, and just like that, in the switch level with those amazing strats, Upla takes the lead once again. What a race we're going, we're seeing right now between these two. Terror Tom Superhero Landing, 11.32 on Upla side, 11.34 on Insert Logic side. It's only a two second lead right now by Upla. Leads changed a lot on that flying solo section. And this is just as close as we could imagine between these two runners right now. A little bit of a breather here for Terror Tom. Nothing too crazy going on, just a little bit of tiny minor uh, movement optimizations getting into the satchel upgrade. But yeah, it's just a little bit of a breather after so much craziness between these two. And now here we go with Super Hot Scuffle. This level, it's a tricky, tricky level. It looks like an easy level because there's no like pits where you can fall and stuff like that. But just the mechanics, the way that this level works with 
the level just freezing when you're not moving, it can make this level very, very, very tricky. Nice cleanup right there by Upla. Both of these runners using a little bit of a different strats right there. And Interlogic using the freeze a little bit long. Oh, okay, okay. They were not properly lining up, I think. Interlogic made that a little bit cleaner. And we're just... We're just like... I could very well just be streaming the same screen at the two times and be the same thing that we're seeing right now. The synchronization just changing leads every single room between these two. What is going on? What is going on? Like, lead is just changing literally after every single room between these two. Like, they're pretty much going into the same place at the end of this level. Like, look at these! Transitions are happening at the same time right now for Super Hot Scuffle. They're both using different type of strats, but it's still like around the same amount of time we spent between these two on every single room. Oh, nice fire strats here by Instant Logic. Hoopla having a little bit of trouble here for the last second. And now Instant Logic takes the lead. And it's gonna be a sizable lead. It's about a seven second lead according to the level difference. Superhero landing. 1325 by Insert Logic, Super Hero Landing, 1329. Now it's a fourth second lead for Insert Logic going into the lava stage. Insert Logic has had trouble last time with lava stage. Let's see if he could shake it off, if he's gonna be able to land these jumps properly. I think he's not gonna have trouble anymore in lava, but we're gonna have to find out right there. I don't know if this is on his head. I don't know if this is not on his head. It's probably, you know what, was a minor mistake, no big deal. And okay, he makes it past the section that he had trouble last time around. But again, Hoopla is just like right there. He's just right there following into the ankles of Insert Logic right now. All right, all right. Clean move. Oh, never mind. I was, as I was about to say, clean movement by the two runners. Insert Logic starts to have a little bit of trouble. And he's gonna be making out of the lava section. But again, having trouble on this level. It's twice that he's had trouble with this level, and I don't know what's going on here for Insert Logic. I don't know if he's gonna be thinking about that level. If he manages to move on in the tournament, he's gonna be thinking, man, what is this lava level? Why is it giving me trouble right now? And it's just like a two second lead right now for Insert Logic, but that, you know what? Two seconds are not enough when you're on the Metroid level. A lot of things can happen in the Metroid level. Let's see what happens here. Insert Logic deciding for the six mana rock strats, while Upla decides to go for the clean without mana rock strats. And again, the no mana rock strats are a tiny little bit faster if you do them right. If not, the consistency of getting those mana rocks is definitely faster. Again, it's just consistency versus risk and reward. They both making their way through through Motor Crane. Upla's not happy about the damage that he just got. Having a little bit of trouble cleaning that Sevatite. He manages to do that. And he's gonna start the fight against Motor Crane now. While Insert Logic is already fighting the head. He's already done with the egg. Little bit ahead here on Insert Logic side. Okay, nice kill by Insert Logic. Nice kill by Insert Logic. But see, I think Upla's gonna be getting the 42 hit combo. And he does. Nice for it to hit combo for Upla. Gets the hearts. None of the players having any trouble getting out of Motor Crane. Now let's see who does cleaner movement into the escape. The escape very, very... Probably one of the trickier sections in the whole run. I mean, you can manipulate these enemies your way, but a little bit of the tiny minor mistake on, on movement. And things can go down south real quick. Especially in this section that Interlogic is right now. These Kamikaze Beetles... They're there just to kill you. They're gonna. They're not gonna hesitate into like just homing a straight your way. Oh, nicely done by Upla. Nicely, nicely done by Upla. And let's have a look. It seems like they're pretty much tied right now. Okay, so it's gonna be a 156. Nice for Easter Logic, and it's gonna be a 159 for Upla. So making a little bit more time, 1635 superhero landing by Insert Logic. Let's have a look at Upla's side. 1641, it's a six second difference. Only two levels left and one boss left in this race. And again, Insert Logic, I don't think he knows the strats to be able to avoid that electricity while Upla does know how to do it. It's just a minor adjustment on how you move. It's just a tiny little jump, a little bump on your head and you're gonna be able to make it past that electricity. And Upla knows his way around that. Okay, here we go. Upla with the kills. He was going like super tricky right there. 
He's got... He's won the, all the manas right there. He's not gonna be happy that that mana landed on top, I'm pretty sure. All right. Make it past the obligatory kill section. All right, nicely done. Swag strats by Upla right there. All right. They don't need to kill any more enemies. If their movement is right, they don't need to kill any more enemies. Eminis, 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 Eminis. <laughs> Eminems going into the mana rock section. Uh, Chase and Race. Chase and Race and Gemini's. That's all that is needed here. That's all separating Insert Logic and the semifinals or Upla and the comeback. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Insert Logic playing pretty good right now on Chase and Race. While Upla gets a little bit of damage, but now. Oh, Insert Logic. Insert Logic. What are you doing? Insert Logic is trying to give us a heart attack right now. Oh, no. Oh, man. What's going on? Oh, man. Woo! He's like, yeah, I made it. Holy cow. He made up four seconds right there for Upla. Let's have a look here. So, superhero landing at 1822. It's gonna come down to doing this fight. It's a four second difference. It's a four second difference. But Insert Logic manages to do the fight properly. I don't think he can. I don't think Upla can make four seconds right now. 1835 versus an 1839, man. Four seconds difference between these two. And Insert Logic is gonna be taking the victory home.